He is known for being a Namidian Latin language prose writer, philosopher, and rhetorician. He is recognized for studying Platonism in Athens and being an initiate in several cults and mysteries. His name is Apuleius. In the ancient city of Medoros, nestled within the Roman province of Numidia, a remarkable individual known as Apuleius was born. He possessed a thirst for knowledge that led him on a journey of philosophical exploration and mysticism. Inspired by the teachings of Plato, Apuleius immersed himself in the depths of Platonism during his studies in Athens. His quest for wisdom took him far and wide, as he ventured to Italy, Asia Minor, and Egypt, where he became an initiate in various cults and mystery schools. Yet, Apuleius's life was not without its share of controversy. The event that would etch his name into the annals of history was the accusation brought against him, alleging his use of magic to captivate the heart of a wealthy widow. In a dramatic display of eloquence and intellect, Apuleius declaimed his own defense before the proconsul and a court of magistrates in the city of Sabratha. This compelling speech, known as the Apologia, served as a testament to Apuleius's brilliance and his ability to sway even the most skeptical minds. However, it was through his literary masterpiece, The Golden Ass, also known as the Metamorphoses, that Apuleius achieved immortality in the realm of literature. This body and adventurous novel told the tale of Lucius, a curious protagonist who dabbled in the occult and, through a twist of fate, found himself transformed into a donkey. Lucius's journey unfolded through a series of captivating and humorous encounters, ultimately leading him to the goddess Isis, who restored him to his human form. Apuleius's life and works demonstrated the interconnectedness of philosophy, mysticism, and storytelling. His philosophical inclinations, coupled with his vivid imagination, allowed him to create a unique worldview that celebrated the power of transformation, both in the physical and spiritual realms. Through his experiences and teachings, Apuleius left an indelible mark on the world, reminding us that true wisdom lies not only in the pursuit of knowledge but also in embracing the myriad possibilities that life has to offer. Apuleius, born in Medoros, a colonia in Numidia, had a unique heritage, being half Numidian half Catullian. Growing up in Medoros, he witnessed the rich Roman culture and the pristine Roman ruins that surrounded his hometown. While not much is known about his early years, we do know that his father was a wealthy municipal magistrate who left a substantial inheritance to Apuleius and his brother. Seeking knowledge and wisdom, Apuleius studied with a master in Carthage and later traveled to Athens, where he delved into Platonist philosophy. He then made his way to Rome to study Latin rhetoric, likely intending to practice law. However, his thirst for knowledge and understanding led him to embark on extensive journeys to Asia Minor and Egypt, where he studied philosophy and religion. It was during these travels that he consumed his inheritance, dedicating himself to intellectual pursuits. A significant turning point came when Apuleius fell ill on his way to Alexandria and was graciously taken in by Sicinius Pontianus, an old friend from his days in Athens. In an unexpected twist, Apuleius agreed to marry Pontianus' wealthy mother, Pudentilla, with the full support of her son. However, their union did not come without complications. Pudentilla's new son-in-law, Herennius Rufinus, fueled by greed and family pride, accused Apuleius of using charms and magic spells to win Pudentilla's affections. The case came before the proconsul of Africa, Claudius Maximus, at Sabratha, where Apuleius fearlessly delivered a spirited defense known as the Apologia, triumphantly refuting the absurd accusations. Throughout his life, Apuleius demonstrated a courageous spirit, challenging personal enemies and exposing their wrongdoings. As a respected figure, he occasionally gave speeches in public, receiving great acclaim. He was even entrusted with the responsibility of organizing gladiatorial shows and wild beast events. In recognition of his contributions, statues were erected in his honor by the senates of Carthage and other cities. While the details of Apuleius' later years remain a mystery, his legacy as a prolific author endures. His numerous works reflect his dedication to literature and his profound engagement with philosophical and religious themes. Though the exact date and circumstances of his death are unknown, some speculate that he passed away around 170, while others argue that he may have lived as late as 180 or even 190. Apuleius's life serves as an inspiration for us to seek knowledge, challenge injustice, and fearlessly defend our beliefs. His unwavering pursuit of wisdom and his ability to overcome baseless accusations teach us the importance of intellectual integrity and resilience. By following in Apuleius's footsteps, we can strive to lead enriching lives filled with intellectual curiosity and purposeful pursuits. As Friedrich Nietzsche once said, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion, and these words perfectly encapsulate the transformative journey of Lucius, the protagonist of The Golden Ass by Apuleius. Lucius, a man who claims lineage to renowned philosophers, finds himself entangled in a series of absurd and comical adventures after experimenting with magic. 
However, his life takes an unexpected turn when he is mistakenly transformed into an ass, experiencing the world from a new perspective. In his transformed state, Lucius witnesses and overhears many extraordinary things, provoking a deeper contemplation of life's mysteries. Through his adventures as an ass, Apuleius explores the human desire for knowledge and understanding, urging us to challenge our preconceived notions and embrace new experiences. Lucius' journey serves as a reminder that personal growth often requires stepping outside our comfort zones and embracing the unexpected. Within the narrative of the Golden Ass, Apuleius intertwines various digressions, including the captivating tale of Cupid and Psyche. This fairy tale, found within the larger framework of Lucia's story, showcases the power of love and the transformative effects it can have on our lives. It is a testament to the potency of human connection and the ability to find beauty and meaning even in the most unlikely of circumstances. The ultimate culmination of Lucia's journey comes when he seeks initiation into the mystery cult of Isis. Through this experience, Lucius undergoes a spiritual purification, symbolizing the shedding of his old self and the embrace of a new identity. The initiation process forces him to confront the elements in a journey to the underworld, mirroring the transformative journey of the soul. Apuleius's philosophical masterpiece, The Golden Ass, provides profound insights into the human condition and offers valuable lessons for navigating our everyday lives. It teaches us the importance of embracing transformation, seeking knowledge, and opening ourselves up to new experiences. Like Lucius, we may find ourselves unexpectedly facing challenges or undergoing personal metamorphoses, but it is through these trials that we have the opportunity to discover our true selves and find meaning in the world. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.